watching Como News at 6. The violence across King County is happening as a public health crisis is severely taxing our hospitals and blood supply. Como's Denise Whitaker joins us live in Seattle to show us what's next for both. Denise? Let me start with that blood supply. Bloodworks Northwest tells me they need at least 1,000 donors every day in order to meet the needs of the local hospitals that they're supplying with the blood they need to keep people alive. This is one thing and only part of the system that's being completely stressed right now. When I stopped inside one of the main blood collection centers in Seattle today, I found just two people donating blood, surrounded by a half dozen or more other empty donation stations. Medical Director Dr. Kirsten and Alcorn tells me they need all of those donors to keep those hospitals supplied. That supply dropped by 700 units during just one 10 day period last month. People on vacation not coming in to donate. And when you talk about a public health emergency of violence, if we suddenly have three, four, or five gunshot wound victims who might need many units of blood each then you can see how that impact just grows. The rate of firearm injury across the country and locally has been increasing year over year and most dramatically in the last couple of years. The problem is so great locally. Harborview Medical Center now runs a violence prevention program. They focus on young victims of violence, keeping guns out of the wrong hands. They also developed a gun interventions toolkit. It starts with safe storage of all firearms, including options for people to store guns outside their home. Extreme risk protection orders to petition a judge for a civil order to restrict certain people from buying or possessing guns. And a voluntary waiver, which lets people voluntarily and confidently restrict immediate access to buy firearms. And I learned from Seattle City Council member Lisa Herbold today that the City Council right now is looking at finding some money in their next budget cycle to expand some of those programs that we already have in place to people older than 25 because most of those programs right now really cater to younger people 25 and under. Live in Seattle, Denise Whitaker, Como News.